what's up guy once again you are welcome to my channel today all right guys as the um tribunal begin a uh, hearing on petitions from opposition party against tenobu um fear looms in peter b's camp as uh, he may face disqualification and that is what tenobu's camp is pressing charges right now they are claiming that Peter Obi was not a registered member of Labour Party and that because of that he is not qualified to contest for the election. He merely just decamped from PDP to a Labour Party just months to the election and because of that he is not qualified. That is what they are actually happening on and this has generated lot and lot and lot of tension. You know. So um, but um looking at it critically once again. Uh, you just know that in a uh, political party, they have a law. They have a law that they have what to call waiver. And that waiver can be issued by the, the chairman of the party so that you don't have to go all the way through the grassroots. But once anybody come from, from another party to another party, you know, they what we call waiver. So for those of you who are, who are aware of this, you know what I'm saying is right. So, but Peter B was given a waiver, and as such, I think that waiver might cover him. The waiver might cover him. You must not go through or to be um, a member. You must not be a duly registered member of a political party to contest election. No, waiver could always be granted, and that is what happened to, to Peter B. And uh, I think... Uh, um, APC is trying to hold on to straw. What they are trying to do, they are trying to do everything possible to destroy Peter Obi. That's what they are trying to do because Peter Obi is right on the neck of Tinubu. Right on the neck of Tinubu. So they are doing everything they can to, to discredit him so that he will not stand a chance to actually uh, threaten Tinubu. But if you look at the weighty allegation against Tinubu, you see they are enormous. You know, we have the drug case, we have the drug case, and also we also have the issue of perjury, where Tenobu claimed he doesn't have any citizenship, you get? And he put that into writing, not later on people now discover that he, he was a citizen of Guinea, and of course Guinea ambassador came up and confirmed it, that Tenobu has a diplomatic passport from Guinea. So this is what we call perjury and all of that. So that is a very serious, a very serious crime in Nigeria today. It's a very serious one. So you see, both Peter B and uh, and Peter B and Atiku, they have been battling it out against Tenobu. Who recently today, I think yeah, yesterday, he traveled out of the country. Tinubu traveled out of the country after court demanded that he must be present in court in person to answer some certain question and not Lalong. Lalong had uh, stood in for Tinubu as a representative but was turned down by court that Tinubu is not an institution or a company that needs representative that he must come down himself and represent himself. Alright, so that is what is happening right now. Uh, do you think that Peter B will, will actually escape this? Yes, I have seen some people being disqualified on the ground that they were not duly registered in a political party. They were disqualified. So will Peter B be disqualified because of, of cross-carpeting from PDP to, to Labour Party? Would that affect him? And of course, you know, Labour Party right now, there's crisis. And these people are fighting with them. They are fighting Peter B from within. Peter B is not only having challenges from, you know, from APC and PDP. Now the challenge now is, is now from within. So guys, that's what is happening. Please, I want you to drop your own comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Please, you do well to hit the like button on this video. It helps the video to go viral. Hit that like button and then also subscribe. Drop your comment. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. Peace out to all of you and God bless you.